Before replacing your Graco Smart Seat car seat buckle, please consider watching the video that details how to clean your buckle, as a dirty buckle can stick. We'll be demonstrating the process to change from one buckle to another on the Graco Smart Seat. In addition to watching this video, please refer to the instruction sheet that came with your new buckle. In order to complete the following instructions, you'll need to have a screwdriver handy. First, remove the inserts. Then, remove the car seat from the stay-in car base. Next, loosen the straps by lifting up the lever and pull the harness straps out. Lay the seat on a flat surface, such as a table or the floor, with the back of the seat facing up. You'll now remove the back cover of the seat using a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the two screws. Please note, you should not remove the elastic straps at the top of the cover. Gently lift the cover off and rotate over the back of the seat. The elastic straps prevent the back from coming off. Now, remove the harness strap loops from the splitter plate located on the back of the car seat. Carefully pull the harness straps out from behind the bar. Turn the seat over so that it's sitting upright and pull the harness straps out from the seat back. Remove the chest clip but do not discard it. We will reattach it shortly. Next, unbuckle the harness by tilting the top of the buckle down, pressing the dimple near the top of the red button and pulling the tongues out of the buckle. Remove the tongues and discard them. Now, slide the new buckle onto the harness straps so that the red buckle is facing out and making sure not to twist the straps. Reattach the chest clip, again making sure that the straps are not twisted. Unsnap the headrest pad. You can find the snaps near the slot for the harness right here. Now thread the harness straps through each corresponding red harness slot. Once the harness straps are in place, re-snap the headrest pad onto the seat pad. Next, we'll turn the car seat back over so that the back is facing up. We're going to reattach the straps to the back of the seat. It may be helpful to flatten out the fold of the sewn loop as flat as possible. Now take the right harness strap and thread the right side corner under the roller bar. It's important that you complete this task just using your fingers and no tools. Repeat this process for the left side harness strap. Next, we'll attach the harness straps to the splitter plate. Make sure the splitter plate is routed underneath the square bar. Check again that the harness straps are not twisted. Make sure the adjustment strap lays in the slot like this. Replace the back cover and secure it with the two screws. Make sure that they are secure, but don't over tighten the screws. To remove the old buckle, lay the seat on its back. Reach under the seat to locate the metal retainer. You'll need to turn it to push it up through the crotch slot in the bottom of the seat, which includes the seat pad and plastic shell, like this. It may be helpful to push it at an angle and pull it from the other side. Remove and discard the old buckle. Insert the metal retainer from the new buckle into the crotch slot, like this. Make sure the red button is facing out. Pull on the buckle to make sure that it is secured in the slot. Now, loosen and tighten the harness system to make sure it works correctly. As a final check, tug on the buckle to be sure it is properly secured in the bottom of the seat and does not come out. Make sure the harness straps are not twisted and that the chest clip is properly threaded. Before using your car seat again with the new buckle, please thoroughly read your owner's manual for complete instructions on installing your car seat into your vehicle and to ensure proper position of the harness straps and adjustable head support. If you have any questions, please contact our Graco customer service team at 800-345-4109.